Hey, what's up, Yard Fanatics? This is a quick video showing you how to winterize your two-cycle engine equipment and how to put it in storage. Stay tuned. Okay, Yard Fanatics, this is gonna be a real quick video. And basically, what I'm showing you is how to winterize this equipment, you know, your two-cycle equipment, and how to put it in storage and to have it ready for next year it's real real simple guys the first thing we're going to do though is first we're going to go ahead and clean both of these pieces of equipment off all right and i did another video we got super clean here it's actually a biodegradable detergent and i like this it really works well it's a degreaser non-sponsored guys i'm just showing you what i use and i got another thing that i use also for you for those of you who are more into the earth thing you know kind of keeping it safe Okay, over here we got the simple green guys and there are directions on the back i basically got a 50 50 mix 50 percent water 50 percent uh, simple green and you just basically mix that up in a spray bottle and you can use that the 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 super clean actually works better but this is more safe if you were doing this on your lawn then yeah you use that but for as degreasing probably gonna be better off with the super clean step like I said, it's not going to be a long video. It's basically just to saturate it down, kind of, where you see, um, you know, dirt, grease build up. And with these, this equipment, guys, let me show you something. You get a lot of build up right in here. All right. And on the side where, let me show you the other side. Sometimes you get a lot of build up in there. So you just spray a little bit in there. Guys, make sure you haven't been running this equipment and it's not hot while you're doing this. But you can see it's, it's actually breaking it down as we spray it on there. <clears throat> Same thing down here on the end. Now what's unique about that, you can actually unscrew that and take that orange guard off. Or you can just leave it on there, you know. For time's sake, I'm leaving it on there. I'm just gonna spray it down real good. And we're gonna let that soak in. You know, spray the spray the rod. You know, spray the whole thing. Just be careful around them electronics. Right there. Be careful around those right there. Same thing with your board guys. And remember, this can kind of be used on all types of floors and stuff. Just spray it down. If you want to take the pads off, you can. But if this is gonna be your final use. Probably really not necessary. Like I said, be careful around the electronics. You see, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's dirt up in there. All right, so now that we got it sprayed down real good, I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit for about five minutes. It's been about five minutes and we wanna go ahead and rinse it off. Now I put mine on jet mode, cause jet will put actually a little bit more pressure and kind of knock that dirt off. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. See that dirt coming up out of there too. Make sure your seal cap is on there tight before you um, actually start cleaning. Same thing here. Make sure the seal cap is on real tight. Guys, don't be afraid to get it wet. I mean, don't drown it, but you gotta spray it in order to kind of get that stuff off there, all right? And when we get down here to the end down here, let's spray that. difficult when you're doing it by yourself. Okay, guys and like I said you can get it as clean as you want it you know you can scrub it down however you want to do it but that's the general way of getting that, that book and stuff out of there all right <clears throat> now 
guys once you do that you can go ahead and let it sit there and dry off or you can get another blower and kind of blow that right, stuff now off. that we got that clean look there's a couple of things i want to tell you real quick this is my gas can that i use for my two cycle mix all right now this is generally what i do at the end of the season i start running 93 octane at least the last tank of two tanks of gas that i put into my yard fanatics look this is uh one of the things i was talking about make sure that you your, your last gas tank should be premium all right now i've already put premium in my main mower and i put them in my gas tank so we're going to add our uh stable fuel stabilizer to that also Whatever gas station that uh, you stop at, make sure it says this top tier. If you don't see top tier um, detergent gasoline, do not put that gas in your equipment. All right. So your last fuel will be a premium, or you can go to the mid grade, but free to go premium. That'll help clean it out. All right. Now I'm using steel, but whatever brand you use, this will apply. They got a synthetic mix and they got the regular mix. Which one is better? Now, over the years, my experience, I had had no problem with that. No problem with that. The only thing this one basically says is that it, 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 the temperature, core temperature when you're operating is a lot cooler when you run synthetics. Now, if, if, if every now and then you switch up and you put a higher octane gasoline uh, fuel in your um, equipment, you still should get good it st still should be good that's basically what i'm saying if i had to choose i would probably get the regular but if you got the extra money go ahead splurge get that now this is about i think 480 something like that i don't even know if the tag is still on it but that is it's five dollars whereas this one i think it's like 289 so you choose they both serve the same purpose but the synthetic is a tad bit better but if you're on a budget stay with that Hey guys and then we get the, the question about the the, the, the fogging um, spray now some of you guys are seafoam guys all right now on my last video I actually used the stable fogging but with this one I'm gonna go with the seafoam just to switch it up and this right here guys listen I'm being quick with it always read your instructions when you buy anything but on the back it basically said one ounce of this you mix it with two and a half gallons of fuel all right, and that's that's a 2.5 gallon container. So I basically squeezed one one ounce, poured it in there, put my 2.5 um, ga gallons of gas in there, which was 93 octane. And this is only going to be for my last couple of gas tanks of my equipment. All I'm doing, guys, is help lubricating the inside because I'm getting ready to, sh to shut it down. Now, BYD, I always said this. I recommend you do not put your stuff in storage with gas filled up in each one the reason i say that because i'm always a fan of getting a fresh tank of gas when the season come around even though that stable was supposed to stabilize your fuel for up to 24 months but you're not storing your stuff for 24 months you're only going two or three months at the most most people so my, my recommendation recommendations you run it to get almost empty and just leave a little bit in there but don't f have it filled all the way up to the top okay okay guys i get the question can you use a fogging um spray on your blower all right now i'm gonna tell you the recommendation still has to r basically run your engine empty clean the materials off get all the dirt off of it and put it in storage all right this is what i do i'm gonna show you how to fog your steel backpack blower. Now, I don't know how other blowers are made, but the procedure is pretty much the same. But this is how we're gonna do it on steel. I'll try to go as fast as I can. Next, we'll loosen up that gap. And steel has a part cut. The own star bit next. Alright, we'll take it off. Alright, we're gonna take this off. Set it to the side. That's the air filter right there for the steel this is a br600 so i don't know how it looks in others pull that off see that filter set it to the side make sure it doesn't get wet all right if you look up in here you'll see the intake right there take that star bit unloosen it remember how it was when you first got to it get it don't take it off 
slide it over to the side like that. Then take the star bit and tighten it back up. Do that. Don't over tighten it. Just tighten it so it'll stay. <clears throat> All right. What we're gonna do is go ahead and crank it up. Gonna get noise while I'm doing this, but we're gonna go with the sea foam. We're gonna throttle it a little bit as we spray it in there. You may see some smoke come out on the other end. If you look in the background, you can see a little smoke coming out of it. We're going to go ahead and shut it down. Put everything back how you had it. Turn that. Close it. Tighten it back up, but don't break it. Tightening it up now. Just tighten it up until it stops itself. And what it is, guys, it's a little space right up in here that that air goes up in. Replace your filter. Maybe I should put it on the right way. All right. Put this back on. Okay, you are fanatics. Look, it's the same thing with the uh, spark plug. What we're gonna do is take that um, cap off, remove the spark plug, spray some sea foam in there for about three seconds, reinstall the spark plug, put the cap back on it, and that's it. That's it. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. You want to inspect that spark plug when you um get through I'm trying to get it to zoom in you can see spark plug is pretty good all right so let's go ahead and put the fog in in there or the sea foam shake it up a little bit guys you only need to do it for about two or three seconds one two three that's it reinstall your plug and tie Okay, guys, and that's it. It's ready for storage. Don't crank it back up. Put it in storage. That should have been the last time that you use it. What that oil is going to do is penetrate all the internal components and keep them well lubricated so you don't get internal corrosion or rust.